Yes, before I say anything about this movie, I'd like to give a mega shout out to Mo Abudu, the woman behind Ebony Live Studios, because this film is from their stable. It is a beautiful one made in Ninja all the way from Africa to the world. It is world standard. Netflix series. At least we have something to be proud of in Nigeria. Mega shout out to all the actors and actresses on this movie. They killed it back to back. From Ini to Isime, I can't even start naming them, but it was a hit and it's just welcome as I do a bit of review consigning it. Welcome. <laughs> everyone how are you all doing my name is esther of the esther Chronicles tv i'm a youtuber based in zurich switzerland so here is me in the middle of the night trying to film this video i'm here to do a review on the movie i just watched called the blood sister and i thought to do it now as i just watched the movie because if i wait till tomorrow i might not do it i might not share it as much as i'm feeling right now Today is May 27th. I don't know when you'll be watching this video, but anytime you watch it, just know that I filmed this video as a mother and with lots of concern in my heart. So, pardon my face. Yes, it's not every time you are up there, but I really like my face. I like, I look like exactly like my mom. And what I have on my face only is my eyebrow. I really don't have makeup on. Like I said, I took the children out and it was a very busy day. So one thing I'm enjoying like never before is my eyebrows because even without makeup, I am good to go. If you've not seen the video where I review my eyebrows, yes, if you are watching this, my eyebrows are microbladed. Yes, I don't have and I got it done. So if you want to see that video, make sure you check it out and consider doing it or not. So let's come back to the movie. The title of the movie again is The Blood Sister and I'm here to share some lessons so that you as a mom or a mom-to-be can learn from it as much as I have learned from it. And I will let you know if the film is worthy of watching. It's a Netflix series, so it's in series. I think it has like five or six episodes or so. I don't know. I was just watching and gleaning. So the first lesson I want to bring out is domestic violence. It's not a lesson. I just want to highlight it. If you know me, you know I'm big with it. Domestic violence, it's as eating up into our system beyond what we know. And the coolest guy could be domesticated, could be domestically violating. I don't know how to put the English. The, the most coolest girl can just be a killer. The main actor in the film is Kola. Kola happens to be a very successful mommy's boy as in it's perfect in 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 his mom's sight he can go no wrong but he was a monster and it happens that he was going to get married to a girl called sarah and somehow somehow just the day that they were supposed to get engaged before the wedding proper sarah decided to call up the wedding just because Kola hit her a day before the engagement now we've seen cases of guys doing that to girls a day before their engagement and the girls still go on with the marriage see if a guy hits you even if it's two minutes to your wedding call the wedding off a monster will be a monster and if a girl abuse you as a guy two minutes to your wedding even if you have spent all the money you have in your bank account even if you have borrowed call the wedding off don't think about what people will say Kola was a monster he hit he 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 is um the this girlfriend sarah told that she was no longer interested and she tried to strangle sarah to death and somehow sarah's friend in the person of kemi came to the rescue by shutting him down in fact from there the movie took another shape. That's the beginning of the movie. So I don't want to tell you about the movie. You need to watch the movie if you have not watched it. First thing I want to highlight is domestic violence. There was domestic violence. And Kola was domestic. Kate was a domestically violating guy. So watch out for the red flags. 
even if the guy hits you and buy you a car, it will not stop. Please, let's say no to this to this madness called domestic violence, be it from a guy or from a lady. Like I tell you, I'm doing this in the night, but I have to do it. The second one is favoritism. As a mother, don't favor a child over another. Love your children equally. I know as human beings, it's very easy for you to want to love one of your children more, especially the one that gives you that joy, the one that, that vibes with your, with your reading, your chemistry. But let's try as much as we can to treat these children equally because they see, and I'm talking to myself, even with my kids, the children see, they know when you, it, you it, somehow you are not trying to favor the other one, but as a mom, you are naturally drawn. To, so let's just watch it. Because if we don't watch it now, it can destroy their future. So that was one thing. Colas mom, um, Colas mom favored color above his siblings. And that led to the destruction of the family in the long run. So let's be careful about favoritism in the home. Number three, believe in your child. Believe in your child. And I'm not saying believe in your child when your child is doing wrong. But believe in your child when your child is telling you something and the child is right. But just because the child has made a mistake before, you refuse to believe that child anymore. It has a way of killing the soul of your child. Like I always say, issues of the souls are so deep. Even so many guys that are hitting women and beating women these days, it has to do with the soul. It is what they saw growing up. So as a mother, please believe in your child. Even if your child is not doing well and the teacher is telling you everything to doubt your child, still believe in your child. If there's a way to correct your child, correct your child. But believe in them when they are telling you, especially when they tell you that they have changed. Just believe them even if they have not changed. Because in the case of Kola's mom, Kola had a sister who was a drug addict. And even when the girl changed, the mother refused to believe in her. And it cost the family a lot in the future. Another thing I want to say is that say no to substance abuse. Say no to substance abuse. Substance abuse can start from the least thing. It can start from things as simple as cigarettes and lead to something as high as heroin. Name them. Let's say no to substance abuse. Let's not encourage those that are taking it. Let's try to talk them out of it in love. I know it's not easy. So as a young parent, as a young mother now, let's, let's help our own children. Let's agree that some people are already hooked on taking drugs and we pray that God will deliver them. But you as a mother, there's something I saw that will not leave me in a long time. Said, if you cannot save the world, please try and save your own children. So let's say no to substance abuse. And if you are a parent smoking and your children are seeing you smoking, it's not a good thing. If you are a parent and you drink, your children sees you drink, it's not a good thing. No matter how you think that those children are not seeing. Someday, especially you know people that drink and smoke, this is not to ditch anybody. When you are stressed, you tend to want to grab the bottle. When you are tired, you tend to want to grab the stick. Your children are seeing you. They will also think that that's the way to go. Please, let's, let's try and say no to substance abuse in any form or any shape. Another thing is that I pray that our children will marry right. That one is a prayer point. If you are watching this video, just drop it on that comment section and say, my children will marry right. Because if your children don't marry right, it will affect the evening of your life. If your child marries somebody that is very, very greedy, they will lead them to where they are not supposed to. Colors brother's wife was a very, very greedy woman. It was all about power. It was all about position. Even though she was trying to help the husband. But that is not. Some women have pushed their husband into where they are not supposed to be. Some women, some men, some pastors out there, they are part of the problem we have. God did not call them. It's their wife. That say, wake up. God is calling you. Go and answer the call. If your child marry wrongly, it will affect the evening of your life. So put, pray that prayer. My child will not marry wrongly in Jesus' name. Your child will not marry wrongly in Jesus' name. Finally, my brethren, the final one I will say is, please know who you call your friend. We have different categories of friendship. We have different categories. As a matter of fact, we have five basic friendship. You can place people on five basic friendship in your life so know your friend know your friend 
It's so sad that Kola's best friend, Kola's best man, never knew that Kola was a monster. Never knew that Kola was an abuser, even though they were best of friends. Even though they were best of friends. It took Kola's girlfriend, uh, the wife to be um, Kemi, um, the wife to be his friend, Kemi, to tell Kola's best friend that Kola was a monster. And the guy went to Kola's house, even though Kola was already dead and gone during the investigation. He went to Kola's home, and what he saw shocked him. He never knew that Kola was a monster. So I'm going to leave the movie there. Let me not give you give it to you. Is the movie worth seeing? Yes, it is worth seeing. I love the, the I love the storyline. I love the directing. I love the suspense. I love that they brought in some local places in Lagos to play in the movie as Lagos girl that I am. They took me back home. I think I love everything about the movie. The only thing I don't like, the ending was not to it for me, but what do you expect? The movie has to end anyway. So please go and check that movie. If I let me know if you'll be checking that movie out. I feel it is worth checking out, especially if you are a mom. You will learn so many lessons. And if you are a mom to be, just check the movie out. My name is Esther. If you have watched this end, please like this video. I am recording this video in the middle of the night. You can see my face, like I said. Like the video, share it out. And if it's your first time here, don't be, make it be your last. Join my family. Make sure your notification bell, make sure the notification bell is on at your end. And leave me a comment. I love to read from you. It's your girl, Esther, from the Esther's Chronicles TV. Love you all. Bye-bye.